there's a single pore space in Alberta. So if you're doing pure CCS, you know you're dealing with the pore space owner of the Alberta government. If you're in Texas and you're on, on land, you can't do that because each individual landowner owns to the center of the earth. So you've got to fight with whoever big the thing is, you've got to fight with everybody in that area about whether they want you to do it or not. Here we have an experienced regulator, we've got evolved regulations, we know what to do, we know what the rules are, and then we have storage alternatives for CO2. So there are three ways to do it. Pure CCS, that's down in the prehistoric ocean that no one's ever put anything into before, but everybody's saying you can do it. I'm a little bit skeptical of that, but I'm old. Second place you can put them is depleted gas reservoirs. You know gas was in there, and so you can put some other kind of gas or some other kind of liquid and be pretty sure it's not going to come out. And then EOR, when you put a barrel, of, when you put a ton of CO2 and you get two barrels of oil back. So it helps pay for the system. If you do this in the other order from the bottom up, then you, the system is building and being paid for without a bunch of subsidies. And I think the green world is cracking in some ways and the amount of subsidies are not going to be as plentiful as they've been proposed.